Is the Paris Agreement already failing? We're heading up to 2.7 degrees C of warming and barely anyone sticking to their climate promises. Only 20 countries have submitted updated climate plans. The rest? Radio silence. In 2015, 196 countries signed the Paris Agreement to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees C, or at least well below 2 degrees C. Every country agreed to cut emissions, report progress, and update their targets every five years. But nearly a decade later, where are we really? Each country was supposed to submit nationally determined contributions, or NDCs, but in the latest round of the global stock take, only 20 countries have submitted updates. That's it. 196 down to 20. According to Climate Action Tracker, current policies will take us up to 2.7 degrees of warming. Even with optimistic net zero pledges, we're still looking at 2.1 degrees, which is above the limit scientists say is safe. And then there's climate finance. Richer countries were supposed to support the poorer nations with $100 billion per year by 2020. Spoiler alert, they didn't. At COP29, a new target of 300 billion annually was announced for 2025. But a lot of this so-called support comes in the form of loans, adding to debt to nations already struggling with climate impacts they didn't cause. So why does 1.5 degrees C matter so much? Well, let me show you. At 2 degrees C instead of 1.5 degrees C, insect species lost triples. Coral reef decline reaches 99%. 37% of people will face extreme heat every five years. Ice-free Arctic summers happen every 10 years instead of every 100. And going past 1.5 degrees C, it isn't just a number, it's a tipping point. The Paris Agreement is not dead, but it is on life support. Without bold action and accountability, it's just another paper promise. Subscribe for more No Fluff takes on sustainability. And let me know, do you think the world will hit the targets or are we already too late?